One comes from a mother, and unfortunately, it's a story that far too many New Hampshire families can relate to. A young man with the brightest of futures, derailed by addiction, it started with pills, and that led to heroin and basically anything else he could get his hands on. Justin is a very strong willed, funny, funny boy. He had the golden finger. Anything he touched worked for him. He didn't really have to try too hard for anything. He had everything he ever wanted or needed. He had a job, a girlfriend. It can happen to anybody. It doesn't have to be those people. It's anybody, anytime. He was a, a, a good looking kid and he was always worried about how he smelled, how he looked, how he dressed. And all of a sudden he didn't care. And he would go way too long without showering. He didn't have a car, he lost his job. And he started taking anything from my husband's tools to camping gear. I am on my third set of wedding rings and um, I don't take them off anymore. You, you look at their arms, there's no track marks and it's so hard to determine what they're using. So I think that he went back and forth for a while to whatever he could get a hold of. I didn't understand how this was changing his brain. I didn't understand why he couldn't just stop. I can't tell you how many times I said to him, just stop. At the time, my husband was a contract worker, so we didn't have insurance. We pay for everything on our own. So they wouldn't even put him on a waiting list. And we didn't have thousands and thousands of dollars to send him away. He also had a baby. I can't trust him alone in the house, and he knows that. Um, it's. It's, his son is here and right now we're not ready to let him see his son until he can prove that he can stay in his life. Unfortunately, this is a very familiar story, but I am joined by the mother who's actually formed a support group for parents that are going through similar things. It's uh, Tracy Backer. Good to see you, first of all. And how's your son's recovery going? Um, day by day, one day at a time. How far into it? And just lift that up a little bit. Okay. Um, from Heroin and opiates, it is four months and ten days. He did admit to smoking pot last weekend. Okay, so it obviously is something that's ongoing day by day.